All right, so today we are going to do a comprehensive guide on farming layer zero. Layer zero raised 298 million is valued at 3 billion. The launch of their token is not far off. This is definitely one that you do not want to fade. This airdrop will be huge and you want to do everything you can to try and make yourself eligible for the airdrop when it comes. So as I said, we're going to do a comprehensive guide on getting our transactions up, getting our volume up, interacting with multiple contracts and also we'll be interacting with other chain and other protocols that could make us eligible for airdrops with those projects as well. Firstly, you want to download the Petra wallet. It's an Aptos wallet. We're going to be using the Aptos bridge to create some volume. Aptos itself has only done one airdrop since it's launched and there will be more airdrops. So this is going to get us interacting with the Aptos chain. Okay, so we're going to come to a platform called Get Mint and we're going to mint an NFT. So you're going to upload an image put a name in, a little description, and mint. And this will cost around 50 cent or less. You need to select a chain that you want to mint it on. I did it on Polygon, as I think it was the cheapest. Polygon or Optimism, Arbitrum, Base would be good as well, but I went with Polygon. So you want to mint your NFT. And then once you've minted your NFT, you're going to go to Bridge, and then you're going to bridge your NFT by clicking on it. And then if you scroll down here, so you can see that I've already bridged mine. I bridged it from Optimism to Polygon. So sorry, I did mint it on Optimism, not Polygon. Um, but yeah, I bridged it over from Optimism to Polygon. So if you want to bridge it, come down here. It will show you the chains you can bridge to. It will show you the gas price. Polygon was the cheapest to bridge over to. It was less than a dollar. Also, with Gitmint, you can get um, XP points for using a platform, so you can connect your your um, your X account for 30 XP. When you mint and bridge, you get XP points. So there could be a token drop with Gitmint, or there could be other rewards, NFT rewards with Gitmint as well. All right, and then we're going to come over to Harmony Bridge, another bridge powered by Layer Zero. And I bridged BNB. So if you click here on the chain you want to choose, I bridged over on the BNB chain. You select your token. Obviously, switch to the Binance MetaMask if you're using BNB. And then you can bridge over. And I bridged over just a couple of dollars to Harmony. So that would be another transaction on layer zero. So we're going to use the Shimmer Bridge. So I bridged over from Optimism to the Shimmer network and I bridged just a couple USDC or maybe even one USDC. Make sure you use a low gas fee chain and then make sure you've obviously got gas fees on that chain. So if you was using Optimism, make sure you've got a couple dollars of ETH on there so that you can do this transaction. It was less than a dollar, maybe less than 50 cents to do the bridge. Next, you're going to use a ZK bridge to send a message, which is really, really low gas fee. You can do it on the BNB chain. It's a few cents or the Polygon chain. And what it is, is you can send messages from one wallet to another wallet, but you can just send it from your own wallet um, to another one of your wallets or even the same wallet. At the moment, it's under development. So it's um, yeah under maintenance. So come back and do this when this is running uh, live. But I have used this multiple times before. And the final bridge that we're going to use is the Aptos bridge. And this is where you will also need the Petra wallet. So you're going to send from your MetaMask wallet or another EVM wallet over to the Petra wallet. So if we're going to use a bridge to really get our transaction volume up, I would suggest that this is the bridge to use as it is an Aptos bridge and we're going to get high volume going within Aptos as well. So I was bridging four or $500 back and forth. What I was bridging was from the Optimism chain. I was bridging USDC. So I was bridging USDC from Optimism over to um. Petra, the Petra wallet, and then bridging it back over to my MetaMask wallet. So make sure you buy some of the Aptos token on whatever exchange you use. You only need to buy a few dollars, send it over to your Petra wallet so that you've got gas fees to send back and forth from the Petra wallet. Then we're going to use a Merkley Minter to do some mints and bridges. So on Merkley Layer Zero ONFT bridge, and you're going to mint, you could choose whatever network you want. I've been doing it on ZK Sync to also get transactions up on ZK Sync here for that upcoming airdrop. You can mint and bridge across to whatever chain you want, Optimism, Arbitrum, another low gas fee chain, and it will be a couple dollars to do this. You can also, there's a Turbo Bridge feature. So if you click on Turbo Bridge, you can mint and bridge over to multiple chains at once. So you can get 10, 15 transactions in one go by using the turbo bridge so what you would do is you would un you would um take out the high gas fee chains 
unclick them and then you'll go to mint it will mint it will give you merkley tokens and then you use the merkley tokens to do each transaction i did this and i did around 20 different chains and it cost me under five dollars to do the bridge to around 20 chains if you find that all confusing or you're not too sure about bridging to loads of chains at once you can just use the bridge to one chain if um, if you feel more comfortable with it and then you can check all your transactions that you've done with layer zero by going to layer zero scan you paste in your address and it will show you all the um, transactions that you've done what platform you've used what network it was on so scroll i've done it base i've done some from scroll i've done some from arbitrum polygon optimism so uh, yeah also bnb so the more chains you use the better the more unique platforms you use, the better. And you can also use Wensa to check your overall volume and transactions with loads of different chains. So this is like an airdrop simulator showing you how much you would get compared to the Arbitrum airdrop. And they've got pretty much every chain here that hasn't dropped a token. So yeah, you can check Aptos, Scroll, Linear, ZK Sync, Polyhedra, which I will be doing a video for soon. Um, so yeah, we just paste in your address, check, and then you can see the total amount of transactions, volume, and how you're ranking it in an airdrop if this was an Arbitrum airdrop. So that wraps this up, a comprehensive guide on farming Layer Zero. No more than $10 needed in terms of gas fee. Layer Zero is one of my top projects to be farming. The airdrop is going to be huge. They raised a nice big amount. The valuation is big. So many projects are using Layer Zero. So for me, this one is a must, along with Scroll and ZK Sync. Do everything possible to make sure that you get in on this airdrop and hopefully get five figures. So any questions, leave it in the comments. I will get back to you and help. Like and subscribe to stay up to date with the alpha. Turn the notifications on. All links will be in the description and I will see you in the next one.